The, the basic principles of feeding laying hens food scraps is to maintain a composting environment in which the hens are foraging for food scraps with a blended material of other carbon materials like hay and wood chips. This gives the hens access to the food scraps, but it also allows the compost mix to get developed for easy management later in the process. A feeding food scraps to chickens is a great way to meet the protein and nutrient requirements of hens without paying for feed and without importing grains, giving you as the grower both the confidence of knowing where your feed is coming from and getting to source that material locally. You can have your neighbors drop them off at the farm, you can have your neighbors bring food scraps to your local recycling facility where you can collect them, and then you can pick up from schools and businesses in your area. The other piece to the equation is the bedding material that you're going to blend the food scraps with. Essentially what you're trying to do is create a good composting recipe. Typically we feed out two pounds per hen per day, they're not going to eat all of that material. If your container is full of pieces of melon from a school lunch, they're going to eat the flesh off the melon, but they're going to leave the rind. Because they're not going to eat everything that you put in there, you need a way of managing those residual materials. Manure from the hens when they're in the compost bins and the residual food scraps and the bedding that you throw in there will allow you to start building layers of a perfect composting recipe as you go. Then I'll rotate the material and I'll put it in my finishing bin and I'll start feeding again. One of the tricky parts to managing food scraps is you're not feeding other critters that might be interested in free food. So um, the best thing to do would be to line your containers with hardware cloth to prevent material from falling out and attracting them in the first place. When you're managing a laying flock, you're gonna either have them in a place where you have a permanent bin system, or if you're rotating your poultry through a pasture system, you would need to either have a central bin system that that pasture rotates around, or have a system that will follow your hens. If you're setting up your farm to receive food scraps, you need to set up and get good clean material from the businesses and the schools that you collect from. Getting clean material is one of your biggest and most important management challenges. Signage, education programs, training videos are all available through Highfield Center for Composting and on their website. Those are really great resources to access to help you make sure that your partners in the community know how to participate effectively and send you clean material. And then you need to be sending them nice clean containers back. After you feed, when you empty a, a bucket or a container, you're going to want to clean that pretty much right away because plastic has memory and it absorbs odor. Um, and so a very simple washing system is an important part of the, uh, the program. Any of us who have the desire to uh, feed our families good quality eggs and, and provide eggs as part of our farm products to the community at large uh, should be considering uh, food scraps as a source of feed. Uh, feed is often 30% of the value of an egg that you sell. Taking that portion out of there really increases your margin and allows you to bring your overall scale down while maintaining decent income. It's also a great way to help the state prevent the landfilling of these materials. The key thing is setting yourself up well so that it's not a management headache as you go forward.